It may seem hard to believe that a group of students could drive 2,400 miles on nothing but the power of the sun. But this past summer, Northwestern's solar car racing team attempted to do just that in an amazing trek from Texas to Canada. Make no mistake, though, it was tough. So tough, in fact, team members wondered if they would make it to the finish. On a hot day in July, just south of Fort Worth, Texas, the Northwestern University solar car team was trying to get their vehicle qualified for a big race. It's called the North American Solar Challenge, a nine-day marathon from Dallas to Calgary. We really just ran out of time at the end that, that we really didn't know what to, to expect. In this world, that kind of uncertainty is typical because in one sense, a solar car race is an international competition that promotes alternative energy and hands-on learning. But in another sense, a solar race is a test of endurance of which team can overcome the obstacles. Let's go back one month earlier. We're very, very, very far behind schedule. Um, and it's getting to the dangerous point. Vitas Berdunis is one of two leaders on Northwestern's solar team. For the past three years, Vitas has coordinated a group of about 30 students, all trying to build a car from scratch and get it ready. There's all these different things going on. It's hard to keep it all straight. It's hard to keep it all from making me go crazy. Vitas's co-leader, Pat Marcan, understood all too well that unexpected things can happen in solar racing. In the 2005 North American Solar Challenge, Pat was the driver at the start. Our battery protection system didn't work at the time, so it didn't trigger and it didn't shut down the pack, and that was the end of the race for us. As a result of the 2005 disaster, the 2008 team would be motivated by fire. We knew we were going to remake the car, but I think um, the fire is just, that just helped us know that even if everything's going right, I mean, something could always go wrong. Over the course of more than two years, the team created a vehicle designed to capture solar energy, transfer it into electricity, and then power a single-motor, three-wheeled car. It was a process that required a blend of knowledge from team members and a lot of money from sponsors. The money that they need to get in some way, shape, or form between pure cash and in-kind services, we figure is somewhere in the $120,000 range. It sounds like a ton of money. Oh my gosh, boy, do you go through that in a hurry. Take some corners, okay. um, watching two things. Don't hit the fairings, and I want to see how much you're banking, okay? okay. That's my big question right now, all right? Make sure they're smooth, okay? No, nothing sharp. I love the car. The car is running extremely well. I think we've done a bang-up job in building it. On the 4th of July, the Wildcats packed up the trailer and headed to the race. In a trip bound to be filled with challenges, the team hit their first in Arkansas. Someone broke into their vehicles. They like raided our glove boxes, they just raided all the consoles, took whatever small bags they could grab and then just hooked it. They stole everything I had, I had brought. If I lost a passport, I lost a computer, camera. Bad as it was to be ripped off, there wasn't time to wallow. The competition was raring to go. The University of Michigan had won four of the last eight contests in this race. A German team had a proven car with a sleek design. Northwestern's biggest concern was to qualify. It's not uncommon for maybe 10 to 20 percent of the teams to not make it. Because once out on the road, if they can't hold certain speeds, they could actually become a danger to themselves and the public around them. Oh, all right. Well, Honestly, so. you were smoking on that last one. Yeah, your tires were literally like yeah. smoke yeah. running yeah. off of them. Well, it wasn't the water, I think. <laughs> no, 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 no. There was, there was blue smoke coming out of these tires. Yeah. When she hit the, hit the, the dry part. Good job, man. Yes. All right, well done. Dude, we did it. In fact, of 19 teams in the race, four did not make the cut. Northwestern did. Our advisors say this is the best car they've seen this team make yet. So I think we stand a very good chance of completing this race and uh, also placing. Finally, race time. At the start of the North American Solar Challenge, 15 teams began a long journey. For Northwestern, Julia Padvoiskis is in the driver's seat. As the event gets underway, each race car is surrounded. 
A lead van is in charge of strategy. A chase van is in charge of safety. Everyone talks by two-way radio. Overall, the race centers on the team's ability to accomplish two goals. One is a strategic use of energy, knowing when to recharge, and when to push it, depending on the weather. And the ray is putting out about four and a half amps, so that's about right for this light. Okay. Um, yeah, everything's checking out just fine. Looks good. 375, that, that's really good, actually. Okay. That makes me feel good about what we're doing today. The other is mechanics, keeping the car running. That proved to be Northwestern's biggest ongoing problem. All right, what, what happened? Um, the accelerator doesn't work. So what I've been doing is I turn this off, I turn that off, I turn this back on, and then I wait like a couple seconds, turn that the jackrabbit back on, and then you need to like push it a little bit, and then like a little bit more, and it'll kick in, and it'll like reset. All right. So it's, it's messed up like that. Yeah, yeah. it is. Uh, well, we went through the rain. Uh, we knew it was coming, but we decided to push through it. But um, it turned out that afterwards that it probably shorted out one of the strings of the array. We have three strings on there. One whole group of solar cells was down and not charging the batteries. Solar racing, by the way, is not luxurious travel. On one night, the team camped out on the grounds of an Oklahoma elementary school. On another, they parked in an Iowa cornfield only to be greeted by a swarm of mosquitoes. It, it's starting to get a little bit of a camp feeling, you know. We're we're in middle school again, and we just we just went out to camp for the for the summer, and and you know here we are, a bunch of people in the middle of nowhere. While every day seemed to bring some surprise, nothing compared to what happened in Regina, Canada. Just one day before the end of the race, the team's motor controller, a critical component, stopped working. And we've been at this forever, and. I mean, there's only so much we can do. Is there a screwdriver over there? Their only hope was to trailer the car to the next stage stop and find someone, possibly from another team, who could fix the problem. Uh, do you have banana cables? I have yeah, some yeah, clamps too. We've got a Lucky for Northwestern, they did. The German team from Bochum University not only lended Northwestern their spare motor controller, they installed it. And you know, we were standing around saying, you know, what can we do? And really they just kept speaking in German and getting their stuff done. And they literally got the system working for us last night. And, and we've got a running car and a running motor. In mid-July, the running car began the last leg of a long race, trailing well behind the front runners. But that was okay. All right, All right let's do this, guys. Out of 15 teams, our guys would end up in 13th place. But with a time of 114 hours, this Northwestern team performed better than all NU teams since this race first began in 1990. This has definitely been our best performance. It's been um, great for us as a school and as a team. I mean, it's great just for us, for publicity, for solar power, for sustainability, for the race in the future, um, for the school, for everyone. At every stage, they found a way to get out of a hole. And I think we've learned very well to handle adversity and, and all the challenges that have, we've come across. It's, it's a testament to what we can do just to see our team manage things in such a professional way. And they did what they hoped to do to power their very own solar car, all the way from Dallas to Calgary. The hell with what place we're coming in with. You know, we made it and, and we did it. And I'm proud of that. Go you! And you! Go you! And you! Go you! And you! Go, you. And you. Go cats! <laughs> <laughs>